Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABAP. In today's episode, I'm going to show you uh, GOS. GOS stands for Generic Object Services. This is a standard built in way to SAP with which we can attach documents to an object. So, you know, it's a common requirement in uh, transactions that we're able to attach a a file you know for example say we have a workflow or something like that and we have to attach a file as documentation so I'm gonna go ahead and paste in some code and I'll explain it here in just a second so what we're gonna do is use this CL underscore GOS underscore manager class and then we're going to create a reference variable of type B-O-R-I-D-E-N-T um, what this reference we're going to go ahead and just set some we're going to set the object type so the object type for this B-O-R-I-D-E-N-T um, object is going to be essentially a classifier for the type of document I've just set it to the actual report ID which is Z underscore G-O-S underscore example and then we have to set an object key an object key is like an identifier for the the ID number essentially for uh, that object. Um, here we're going to do create object. We're going to create an instance of CLGOS manager. We're going to say our object is this object here that we define. And then we're going to go ahead and pass in this IP no commit and set the value to ABOP false. Now, ABOP false, what that's going to do is going to go ahead and say, when a user uploads a document go ahead and do the commit work we're not going to do that in our application so the CLGOS manager handles all that for us and then I've come down here and just introduced a write statement write test so I'm gonna go ahead and activate this code we're gonna run it and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna do so go ahead and activate this so what this is essentially going to do is going to write out test to the screen when we run it. But creating this instance of the CLGOS manager is going to provide us with some nifty functionality that you've probably seen before in other SAP standard transactions. So I've got a trial system here. I don't have access to, you know, create vendors or purchase orders or anything like that, but what you will notice on those transactions You'll see this services for object um, bit right here. We can click on it and we can see the different services for this particular object. So what that's going to do is going to bring up this sort of toolbar where we can do, you know, create, send object, this type of thing. It's essentially a lot of the same functionalities is coming to this drop down arrow here and seeing create we can create an attachment, a note, or an external document. I'll just, for you know this example, let's just create a note. So a note is just going to be a title. So I could say some tests title and then some test text in the note. If I can spell. Go ahead and do copy, which is going to create this actual note. So now we see in the bottom this note was successfully created. If we go up to our generic object services uh, toolbar thing here we can do attachment list and we can see the list of actual attachments for this object so we see our note some test title we could look at that if we wanted to another thing we could do we could attach an actual attachment which is going to prompt us for a file so I'll just go to desktop I will just create a quick attachment on our desktop here something suitable to attach. I'll just call it test doc. Open it up. I'll say test one, two, three. Go ahead and close it. Now we'll choose test doc to attach. It's going to say it's trying to access this. Go ahead and allow. And what it's going to do is attach it to this generic object services entry. So we see the attachment was successfully created. If we come here to attachment list, we can see test doc. 
we can download this, uh, change it, delete it, whatever we need to do. This is all handled by the built-in generic object services. So what's going on here exactly? We're providing the type of document. So object type and object key. So object type again, I'm just saying the report program. Object key is going to be essentially, let's say for example we were attaching documents to a vendor. So object type, we might say equals, you know, instead of report ID, we might say equals vendor or some other business object type. Now object key, we might enter the vendor number or uh, you know whatever uniquely identifies the object with which we're attaching a document to. So if I go back into this program and run it again, I can come here to attachment list. I can see the documents that have been attached. But if I were to change this from test one, two, three to test four, five, six, go ahead and activate this and we'll run our program once again. And what we'll end up seeing, if we go here to attachments, we don't have an attachment list. Because for um, ID test 456, there's been nothing attached. What I can do is I can create an attachment, attach this test document, go back out. We didn't really have to go back out, but we can run it again and see attachment list. I see attach test doc. Now, if I go back out and change this object key, which is again our unique identifier for the object to which we want to attach documents change it to test one, two, three, which was our initial object key. I can look at the attachment list and I can see the test documents that I've attached previously. So that is the easiest way, uh, you know, just a couple of lines of code here, guys, to actually be able to attach a document to your custom objects. So I, again, I'm using write right here just to, I mean, if I didn't have a write statement here, this code would compile and run just fine but and of course I'm running the report here nothing's happening but if I have a write statement or otherwise you know a selection screen or some sort of something that's going to prompt some behavior here then I can use this create object of CLGOS manager to get this particular functionality here with the attachment list to be able to create documents and attach them. So, you know, that's a very, very simple example for generic object services. Generic object services can go a little bit more complicated than that, but this is the most basic way if somebody says, hey, I've got this report, you're displaying this one object, can I attach information to this object? Can I create you know an Excel attachment a PDF attachment so that's how that works guys um, if you have any sort of questions again this is a very high level but uh, if you have any sort of questions at all about this and about generic object services please feel free to leave a comment uh, shoot me an email and I'll try and make a video about it so I can uh, help you out so thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next video